Chris Don's watering service. Right. Thank you. Yeah, you walking out to the mailbox. Yeah, my plant out there is not looking too bad. No, I've been watering it. That's the uh, second or third time I've watered it in the last like week. Thank you. Having to unicycle makes doing chores a little funner. I I'm see. very pleased to see this hydrangea has so many nice blooms on it this year. It's looking good. This one over here by the driveway has a lot of nice blooms on it also. I really should uh, cut a piece from the back side and take it in the house to enjoy. Although every time I do that, my little, well, my large black cat, Midnight, he really likes to play with the flowers. So I forgot to plug my phone in, my new Pixel 3a phone in last night, and it came with a USB-C charger. When I plugged it in this morning, it said uh, like 34% uh, rapid charging enabled, or something like that. And now it's been charging for oh about 20 minutes, and it's up to 80. What is that? 86% with 13% remaining. It kind of reminds me of supercharging. Don and I are headed to the Memorial Day weekend Lake Wheeler car show. This is one of the podcasts Don listens to regularly and um, he has Robert Llewellyn on the show today and it's a little uh, um off the cuff is that the right way yeah. to say it yeah it's yeah. Yeah, robert is funny and engaging and entertaining a plus informative to begin with about all evs and teslas you know he drives a model s but he's even more you know out there today it's it's good yeah, it, yeah. this is this is i'm enjoying it yeah two british blokes sitting around having a <laughs> brew <laughs> talking no about no EVs. they're having a cuppa a cup of a, a tea, yeah. yeah they're not having to brew, don't <laughs> No coffee. Poor farmer's over here in his field getting it ready. And you can definitely tell we haven't had rain. That's the strawberries. Picking over, over here there. at Lake Willer Park. Ruby's parked in the lot over here. This is where you have to park on the grass, on the dirt. It's dusty. We're standing by our decision not to spend any time cleaning Ruby back up from that little rain shower yesterday because she just get dirty over here again. And this is a nice, casual, free, patriotic, relatively small, not too large at any point car show. We always have fun here. I'm walking around with my hat and my umbrella. I'm styling today. I'm just trying to not get burnt this sun. Since my dad was a Pontiac guy after Cadillacs, I'm a Pontiac girl. This is pretty nice GTO here. This is another one of those cars that has that black and white interior. I really like it. 69 Yanko Camaro and he shows it starting out looking pretty rough so you can really appreciate the restoration here. I'm getting in the mood to watch Smokey and the Bandit. There was a more similar uh, Firebird Trans Am over there in the park. It was a definite time in my high school years when I would have loved to have had and driven this car. Don't laugh, it's paid for, and Betty Boop will serve you a hamburger at the window. Don says this one's pretty close to the one he had. Yeah, I had red with white racing stripes. I mean, black racing stripes. Cal induction, 396, four speed. Same wheels. Little 14 inches. I don't know if this is the exact Smokey and the Bandit car, but uh, it's close enough to get my engines revving. <laughs> I want to be Sally Field out for a ride with Burt Reynolds today. I used to have a neighbor with a car similar to this one, same paint, Chevy. Uh, his plate was my number three. Nice example of a convertible and a hard top, same color, same, I think it's the same year. Uh, it's pretty Purple cool. Purple haze, huh? I don't remember seeing this car before. Some of the cars here this year are here prior years. Some are certainly new. Possibly completed restoration in the last well, year. That's impressive keeping the inside of this engine compartment clean. This is the GTO 
and um, I think it's the 70 GTO. Uh, there's the tachometer on the hood, and of course you have your Ram Air, although this one is not uh, functional, I think. Yeah, that's not functional. Wow, look at that spoiler. That's a spoiler. <laughs> wow. That is one sweet paint job back there with the matching trailer. All right, let's race. This truck is resonating with Donnie. He's having flashbacks. He says he thinks his daddy owned a similar truck and they would all pile in the back. Don came by this one and said, here's your Earnhardt car. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that earlier in the video, my neighbor had one very similar to this, painted just like this and his plate was my number three. Very nice looking Bonneville. So the girl that owns the Monte Carlo over here, she's letting her husband, boyfriend drive it out. She says she doesn't know how to go slow. <laughs> I told her I let my husband drive the Tesla, but only on the weekend. Don says this uh, Nomad has a California duster in the back and that he's seen several today. Just so you know, people with really nice paint jobs on vintage cars, they use them too. And gosh, you need it here today on this grass dusty lot. I like it. This car is as old as I am. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at, but I think I like it. <laughs> a racing car, I guess. Showing the hood off, but displayed. I get it now. Carolina Twister. All right, this is the car I've been waiting to see. Well, I've been waiting to see a classic Cadillac. Very nice. I'm not going to call the year because if I guess it wrong, y'all will make fun of me. It is. It's a 69. These guys over here, they got it made in the shade. They got the car in the shade. The car looks great. <laughs> Don's having a good time talking to him. Wow, look at how clean that is underneath there. 327, huh? Hey, 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 what do you know? Here's our favorite Buick Riviera 1968 that we saw at the Fayetteville Dogwood Festival a few weeks ago. Great car. Here's Ruby waiting on us. She should be a cool 78 degrees inside. Should have some cold water still in the car. who's over at Jaguar Land Rover in Cary um, has been wanting us to come and check out the I-Pace and let us go for a test drive. And they weren't real busy today and we have the time, so that's what we're headed to do. So it says I could go 208 miles. Is that what this is trying to tell me over yep, here? Yeah, that's the guessometer. Yeah. The guessometer. Yeah, there's no rated range in these cars. It's just, okay. Is that literally what it's called? That's what I call it. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty that's that's gone. Bjorn Nyland's yeah. term. Yeah. <laughs> After stopping in at Jaguar to see Ben and to test drive the Jaguar I-Pace, Don offered me seafood here at the NC Seafood Restaurant and to go take a look at the plants first. Wow. 
I had to. Yes, I did. The guy promises this hydrangea stays pink no matter what. Early morning sun, late afternoon shade. <laughs>